Caribou leads Lil Yachty's label. Mm-hmm. Lush, I know you're heartbroken. You seem yeah. like a real concrete boy. I I, I, I I do function with the concrete movement, DC2 Trail, all that. It's just yachty. wild because it's like when you see a group popping off, it's very encouraging, especially with Yachty, because it's like mm-hmm. we've seen Yachty have so many highs and lows throughout his career, and to see him be able to put a, put together a group this late and like actually have it seemingly getting traction and working, and then obviously Caribou is like getting the most attention out of that whole thing. To see it fall apart so quickly, it's a bummer. But also reminds me of like Jeezy and Boys in the Hood. Well, when you have one person in the group that is getting an outsized amount of attention. It's just not going to last that much. It was like a one album deal. Yeah, but they, Jeezy was already cracking before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, but then yeah. he chose to do that, and he was he was di- he was double dipping. He's doing yeah. a solo career with whoever, and then he's also doing the bad boy thing with the group. So, yeah. but he was out within a year. Yeah, because it was the Diddy thing. He was signed to Diddy, then he ran into Jay Z, and Jay Z mm-hmm. took him out that situation. Who was that? That was a. Jody. That was Jay Z. Was the president of Dev Jam? Right. Yeah, okay. And it was yeah, it was yeah. him, Jody Breeze, and Slick Puller. Is that who it was? No, yeah. him, Jody Breeze, and ah, I forgot the other two. Slick jo- Puller wasn't in the group. Though. Okay. Yeah, Jody was Breeze was hard though. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's right. Jody was. Jody hard. Breeze went crazy. Like, they didn't put me on the track with a well-known crack dealer. You feel me? Like, but you want to know a comment on the self. Caribou thing that kind of bothered me though? It was like just the top comment that I saw was somebody just saying like, "Good for her. She realized she didn't need Yachty." You know what I mean? Okay, but like, why the fuck are we talking about? We talking about her because of Yachty? Well, yeah. like the, the the whole aesthetic and everything is clearly curated by him. Mm. The with the the oversized early two thousands brands and all that, and just their, yeah. their whole the whole way they're coming and the the type of production they're yeah. using and, and vocal styling. He influenced that whole thing. Yeah, I mean, but at the end of the day, if you keep going back and forth, all right, listen, okay, I understand this is concrete, boys. I understand you. Little Yachty, but you got to understand that Caribou is not on the same level as everybody else. So you have to start rolling out her shit the same way that you're trying to promote these concrete tours and all this shit. You have to start taking your time out for her to be a solo artist, and she might not be getting that type of effect from it. Mm. And nah. She keeps he keep holding them back. Like, yeah, she going on tour. She's splitting the money that they're getting for the shows. You know, Yachty's not splitting. Whatever Yachty's getting, she probably getting you know a, a tiny percentage in comparison, and she's splitting it with she's, three other dudes that she looks at like I'm hotter than all what y'all. What the fuck am I doing that for? And then she got. Obviously, opportunities that are outside of this that she's saying no to. She probably getting offers. Oh, come, come, 15, 20, come, open joint. for Billie Eilish. Come yeah. fucking right. open for Taylor Swift. Yeah. Who knows? She getting all kinds of crazy shit. Probably because she just went on tour with who? Well, like, like it her, was like a big name. Well, like her, her, her homegirl, Gorilla or well, somebody. Her homegirl and Nisi have fuck with Lotto super tough and has joints it with might Lotto. Have been Lotto. Yeah, yeah like, somebody that just was on tour just went on tour with Caribou as like the opener but like she just was on tour with some hot shit and I'm pretty sure that she's not gonna that's where I think the problem is cause they was on live fighting before and all that shit I just feel like she not touching the money and you can kind of see it like if she was having the money she was supposed to have off of this shit yeah you know what I mean like I don't know. With this, well, look, she, I'll, I'll she say might this. just be a dope hit. And I fuck with Lil Boat so heavily and all of his creative endeavors. But the only reason I give a fuck about Concrete Boys is because of Caribou, like straight mm. up. That's why I like that shit. Like, Me too. And like the other dudes are cool. I, like I discovered a couple cool people from there, but like. I actually slap her shit and f- there's back you could look back. at there's concrete boys ciphers caribou verse only versions all over YouTube <laughs> like they'll take her, her just her verse from songs and so like it's really that that's what people want and even at the show when they first realized it, like oh shit caribou's not here and then you seen that they had unfollowed mm. and the concrete boys page had unfollowed her and all that it was all the fans were like, where the fuck is Kara at? Right. That's who we want to see. You know what I mean? And she's coming into her own. I, I fuck with Shorty. Who was the girl heavily. in the sailing team? What was oh, her shit. name? That's a I throwback. Her name. I just, I just light skin girl. What I remember Burberry name? Perry was the producer. Yeah, yeah. Perry, that's my boy. Yeah. Um, I Perry. Sailing team, Yachty. Yeah, what the Perry fuck was her name? Uh, Cody Shane. Okay. Yeah. Bro, that's like I feel like that's a similar thing where she was like the standout from the sailing team, and she departed 
before like it was obvious i, I feel, I like, feel she, like the sailing team had no standouts. i feel like the sailing team just like was disrupted but i feel like she was the clear breakout star of the group yeah and then she kind of like i don't know if it fizzled out at a certain point kind of feels like it but like it's crazy how that same exact thing what, what is the lesson don't try to make a girl a part of your group yeah. well, <laughs> i mean you might just have to kind of look at it like that's that's some decent advice and you know girl, how it started too she was his assistant and then, like, people just thought she had hella swag. Bro, then, that's insane. Yeah. Girl rap five years ago is definitely not the girl rap right now. And shit, that, that was about eight years ago. Like, if you not throwing ass and sucking dick and paying for your food with an EBT card in the verse, like... I think that's nobody wants to hear. It. That's like why we're kind of like intrigued by the caribou thing because she would have been like like her becoming successful she's like and Rick, baby. it's not like it's over, but it's like she's she's a very different version of what it is to be a woman versus like everything else that's yeah. popping girl rap wise at this point. She's Which, the key by the way, I had to correct Vlad today because I was watching a clip of him and Tariq Nasheed, mm -hmm. and they're talking about why white supremacists like sexy red, which I have seen a little bit of that. Well, actually, I feel like on Twitter I see the white supremacists like m specifically mad about sex. You read, even though she might be like helping them accomplish their How goals. How many white supremacists do you follow on Twitter? You don't have to follow them, it'll pop up in your feed all the <laughs> fucking time. It's crazy, but either way. I, like Vlad was saying to Tariq Nasheed that white women don't listen to rap or don't listen to sexy red. That's, I, I that's absolutely cap. 1000 I, I go Vlad, I text Vlad I'm like you can't that's be saying shit like that yeah, cuz that makes it so obvious that you're not outside Vlad yeah. and then even beyond that like him and Tariq Nasheed both quickly agreed that men don't listen to sexy red I'm like that's also no that? no yeah. I'm like I'm all the dudes I know fuck driving. with her yeah all the dudes I know fuck with her and me included and she's like the only rapper right now that could get on anybody's song and make it hot bro For she sure. this is her second summer in a row mm. she this is the second summer she has the biggest record in a row well i guess not like us is a bigger record but but you know what i mean regardless she got the summertime bop Listen. honestly that's true it was I'm pound waiting. town a year ago pound town was and a year ago all these other songs. Yeah. yeah i'm waiting for the next sexy red album to come out i'm invested